Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for all my returning Geminis. Love you guys, appreciate you guys so much. If this is the first time you've been here. I hope you choose to subscribe. Join my little community, my little family. Would love to have you. I am, I did make members only portion or section on the channel. And this is going to be extended version of this reading. So if you would like an extended version of whatever I'm about to talk about in this reading, be sure to head on over there. Um, I will be putting, uh, I think I'll put the link down in the description as well as you can join the members, uh, I believe from the front page of my um, channel. Okay. So let's get into your energy, Gemini. What can you tell me for Gemini spirit? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on in Gemini's energy right now? All right, so we have confidence. This is giving fire energy. So some of you could have some fire in your charts. It says take up space, love yourself, be you, you are worthy. So some of you are in this really fiery, vibrant, sexy, I'm hearing getting your sexy back, reclaiming your space, reclaiming yourself. Maybe some of you guys have played it small for a while or too long, I'm hearing. And now it's like, I'm getting into this energy of wanting to take up space, loving myself because it's a rebellious act to do so. Just like no longer taking people's shit. <laughs> Being you. Realizing that, you know, life is short and you don't need to act like anybody else, be like anybody else. So yeah, Gemini, I feel like there's this energy of like learning to like not care about what other people think anymore or try to blend in or try to appease people or something like that. You know, Gemini, I read something interesting about your energy a while back. Um, and, you know, I've been friends with a lot of Geminis in my life. I'm a Sagittarius. Gemini and Sagittarius tend to get along very well. And... You know, I read something about how Gemini struggles a lot with wanting to kind of like please everyone in the room. You find yourself wanting to blend in with everybody that you talk to and you overanalyze your communication with people. You overanalyze what you say to people. You will say something and then think about it later on and be like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or maybe they thought of it like this and I really meant it like that. Or like there's just this overanalyzing that Geminis tend to do. And this can also be where you guys get that bad reputation of being so-called two-faced. Um, and as you can see, there's like this two people. It's almost like Gemini, you have a an outer self as a social self, and then you have your true inner self. And people that really love you and care about you or the people that you love and care about are the only people that end up seeing that inner you, that true you. But I feel like a lot of you guys are starting to become exhausted with that whole song and dance I'm hearing, and you're tired of... Feeling like there's a side of you you can't show people and then there's a side of you that you have to put on. This mask you have to put on, so to speak, in order to appeal to other people, okay? I think a lot of you guys are just tired of that shit, especially if you're older. Um, a lot of times, Gemini, you guys go through like a people-pleasing phase when you're younger and just trying to fit in, just trying to be in the know, just trying to like, you know, just... Not necessarily be popular, but be likable. I feel like air signs in general struggle with that, but especially Gemini and Libra. Um, so yeah, that's just, I'm just sharing just something I learned about your energy. If that resonates, be sure to like the video and comment down below. So tell me more about Gemini. These readings this week are a lot more personal. I feel like spirit wants me to dive deep and talk more about each sign and what they're going through personally, rather than just talking about a past person or the love energy that you're experiencing. I feel like my readings can be very healing to people. And as I say that, we have inner child, okay? So yes, there's this inner child nurturing going on, inner child healing going on inside of you right now, which is why you're like, F it. If you don't like me for who I am and who I truly am, then you need to get up out of my life. If me being confident in myself, choosing to love myself, flaws and all is is a problem for you then you're a problem for me um if me taking up space and you know 
feeling like I'm worthy of experience, I'm worthy of love, I'm worthy of acceptance, I'm worthy of all these things. If that's a problem for you, then I'm glad it is because you've shown me that I don't need you in my life. Like, that's really what I'm feeling, which, oh, I love it for you guys so, so much. Okay, so yeah, rejection. I feel like you guys struggle with that. Okay, this goes back to exactly what I was talking about. In the past, you guys maybe were rejected a lot. This could have happened in your childhood. When you were trying to fit in in school or when you were, you maybe have felt like the black sheep of the family ever since you were born. Like, and it's this mask that you guys have learned how to put on yourselves to make yourself acceptable to other people. And it's just like, F that. I don't want to do that anymore. I am confident and I love myself and I am tired of acting like I don't. Like, I'm tired of feeling like this is something I should be ashamed of. I feel like I'm channeling for you guys right now. <laughs> um, some of you guys can be born on the 16th of the month or the 13th of the month. That is confirmation or even the 9th of the month. Um, it's just like you're tired of feeling like you have, you're, you're rejected or there's this feeling. And see, this is what needs to be healed inside of you. At some point in your life, you guys felt rejected and it was very... It was a turning point for you. And I don't think you realized this at the time of some of you guys' personalities totally shifted and changed into a persona or somebody that you knew was a safe person for other people to interact with, not necessarily who you are. And see, this is why I love Gemini's so much and is because I understand you. Um, because a lot of people have beef with Gemini's. They think you guys are two-faced, you know. And, you know, where you guys do have the tendency to gossip too much at times and it gets you into trouble. I know that this is coming from a lack inside of you at times. An insecurity inside of you of wanting to feel like you're in the know. Of wanting to feel included. Of wanting to feel like you are liked by everybody like i can see it from a deeper level doesn't make it right because at times gemini you are wrong uh <laughs> with you know not being able to keep a secret at times or just like things flying out of your mouths because you want to be that person that has that information um, and you guys know what I'm talking about. You can tell I have been best friends with Gemini's for years. So I know exactly how you guys operate. But, and this is the thing. When you're with somebody like a Sag, like if you're best friends with a Sag, best believe your Sagittarius friend knows what to tell you and knows not what to tell you. Okay? Like everything your Sag friend is telling you, they're okay with it getting out. <laughs> and I'm saying this in a very loving way. Okay? Okay every any best friend i've ever had even i even had a soulmate that i dated that was a gemini and to this day i still adore him no hard feelings he's like literally the only person i've ever dated that i could say that about um but yeah best believe me and gemini i connect with gemini's very well but i also know this about you guys okay so anyways back to what i was saying and again look bottom of the deck we have healing somebody could be born on the 21st of the month this is something you are becoming conscious of, you're awakening to, you are realizing about yourselves, and you're making the decision to heal and change that. So with everything I've said, be proud of yourselves for that, okay? Because, you know, we're not perfect. Nobody's freaking perfect. We all have issues. We all have things that we have to work on. Like, And I'm just proud of you guys that you're deciding that you know what... I'm tired of feeling like I have to appeal to everybody. I'm not going to be for everybody, and that's okay. There's going to be things I say that might irritate somebody. Should I go back on what I said? No. Like, I said what I said, and if you don't like me for it, then I guess you're not my person. Like, and, and instead of redacting, re, redacting what you say and turning it around and being like, oh, I really didn't mean it like that, when you know you meant it like that, Gemini, like... You know, you're not going to be friends with everyone and not everyone's going to like you and that's okay. But see, that's where your wound is. Your wound is this wanting to be liked by everyone, wanting to um, know everything about everyone. When you can be relaxed, when you need to start re being more relaxed and reassuring like in yourselves, you know, not not needing that reassurance from others. All right, tell me more for Gemini. 
So we have Lady v uh, Venus, downloads and understanding. I can't make it up. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven in the astral realm. You guys are getting this awakening energy because you are wanting to be more. Of, you want to understand yourselves more. You, I feel like some of you guys have come, a, had a, so to speak, come to Jesus moment lately in your lives where bottom the deck awakening presence here, the universe is with you, wear a cloak of protection and love. Some of you guys need to protect your third eyes right now. Um, or your third eyes are just opening more. You're you're becoming more self-aware, but you're also becoming more aware of humans in general, how we act, how we react. You know, you're becoming more aware of the people around you, the people that you having your you have in your circle and why you have them in your circle. You're also becoming aware of the people that need to be cut off, okay? Because this new you is going to irritate a lot of the people that have been around you for superficial reasons to begin with, okay? Like the quickest way to figure out if somebody's not for you and somebody's not, you know, supposed to be in your circle is let you start acting a little bit different. Let you start having more confidence and not being so self like um so people pleasing or whatever and it's like you know you'll start to see the true colors of people this is what's happening i want to say right now in you guys' lives like you know and that's just on a personal level like that's not even just relationship friendship that's everything okay being yourself is going to irritate people and it's the very reason why you should now let's talk about your love situation right now gemini love situation you guys could be dealing with another gemini or have dealt with a gemini i get gemini energy from this poker face card it gives magician to me um we have be aware of hidden intentions and underlying motives we also have legacies rebirth honor histories remain to restore and breathe life into forget forgotten tales we also have strong roots, pool weeds of resentment so your love can bloom. I'm going to clarify this poker face card. Somebody from your past could be wanting to come back towards you, but they are acting like they don't. They're acting like they don't care. But there's this unfinished business energy or past life energy with somebody that, you know, it could spark up again. There's like some strong roots that still, some cords that are still yet to have been cut with somebody from your past. But spirit says pull weeds of resentment so that your love can bloom. So you might need to forgive whoever this energy is, okay? So tell me about this poker face. What is this? So we have the three of swords here reversed so yeah there's there's somebody that wants to reconcile with you okay they want you to forgive them but what's the underlying motive the underlying motive might just be straight up that they want to be with you but they're trying to be slick about it yeah four of cups reversed you are the person that they want to be with. Now, if it was a third party situation, that might be the elephant in the room of what you need to forgive them for or if you choose to forgive them. Some of y'all are like, I ain't forgiving you, okay? And that's perfectly fine. But this person wants to reconcile with you. I feel like they're keeping a poker face. So they could be very prideful. They could not want you to know that, you know, they want to be back with you kind of thing. Tell me about this legacy's rebirth. We have the star reversed here with the page of wands reversed. So some of you guys feel just very like, when it comes to thinking about this past person, your energy towards it is that it can't be re, um, revived, that you need to you know, find a new path with them. So like somebody wants you to get back with them. They want you to see the connection as not being dead and done and over with, but you guys might not feel that way from what it seems like. Okay. It could be dealing with an Aquarius. 
or a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Tell me about this strong roots. We have the Page of Cups upright with the Death card upright. Yeah, so this is something that I feel like, honestly, a lot of you guys, regardless if they want a rebirth with you or not, a lot of you guys have made a decision that you don't want this to happen and that you're done um that you want a new start of, for your life that that is over that you have let it go or you're letting it go but where the strong chords lie is that there could be some forgiveness that needs to happen like even though you're moving on you haven't truly forgiven or moved on from what they've done so for a lot of you guys if it was a third party they cheated that kind of thing you still haven't quite let go of that, okay? And that could also tie into the beginning of this reading when we were talking about rejection, okay? You have felt rejected, but with this rejection, I'm hearing rejection is your protection. You know, we all hear, have heard of that before, but it's true. Um, this rejection energy, you feeling rejected by this person is actually what has kind of sparked this whole new you. It sparked this whole unapologetically myself, F anybody who doesn't like who I am. This is who I am. I'm not going to be fake for anybody. I'm tired of trying to please everybody and speak a certain way, act a certain way, like certain things. If you don't like me for who I am, whatever. Okay, so it has really changed you. Um, I could be talking to an older Gemini. And so, you know, that tends to happen with us as we age, with we evolve in our signs. So the typical characteristics of our sign no longer apply to us as we get older, as we evolve, you know, if we've chosen that path, let me just say, now I'm not going to say there ain't unevolved Geminis that are 60 some years old run, running around on the earth because there definitely is. You could have Scorpio in your chart, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart, okay? You have you're setting new goals for yourself you're trying to become more grounded you're you know i don't know like you're just focusing on other shit you're not looking backward anymore so whoever this energy is from your past i'm gonna dive into the extended to see more about what their intentions are and what the hell they got going because bottom of the deck here we have knight of swords so they're coming towards you but why why are they coming towards you? So if you guys want to know why this person is coming towards you, head over to the extended version of your reading. Join the members only section so that you can get extended versions of your readings. This is not required. Um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, I'd make that as an option for those of you guys that are interested. Love and appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you guys on the next one.